Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. So it seems like it has been a bit of an uphill struggle trying to find trout out in the backcountry this season. Whether it's been no fish, smoke, or the weather. Yeah, it's just been a little bit of a tough season for me. So that's why I'm super stoked today to be heading out on a six day backcountry solo backpacking fishing adventure. But first, we gotta hop on a boat from where we are which is in the middle of the Cascade Mountains. And that boat's gonna take us 23 miles, almost all the way up to Canada, even farther out in the mountains. So let's get down there, hop on this boat and get out there. And with that, it is official. We are completely alone in the wilderness. So, like I said earlier, we we're way, way out in the North Cascades. There isn't a road or a town or a civilization for many miles in any direction. And I don't mean four or five miles. I mean like 40 or 50 miles. Nothing but mountains, wilderness and mountains. So behind me here is Canada, about a quarter mile away. To the west, mountains. To the south, lake and mountains, and we are headed east into the mountains uh, to hit up some lakes before we finally make our way back to this lake to keep on fishing. So let's uh, get to walking. We'll find somewhere cool, and I'll show you guys on the map what we're up to over the next six days. It is now about 10 in the morning and at 9 a.m. we caught the boat down here, just about a mile off of the map here as this map cuts the southern tip of this lake off. And then obviously we uh, took the boat the 23 miles up the lake past this spot where I spilled coffee on my map and we are now right here, just south of Canada. And what we're gonna do over the next six days is hike back down the lake all the way back to where the car is, uh, back to the highway. Now normally, you guys, I don't uh, say where I'm at. I don't give away my location. Um, but I think for these longer trips, uh, it's helpful to have some context as to what I'm up to. Also, where I'm at is not a, like, secret or anything. It's a really well-known and traveled area. But so what we're doing is from here, we're going to hike the 3.5 miles into Hosamine Lake and camp here for the night. And then tomorrow we will head uh, down to the main lake. But for now, let's get the hike in up to here and set up camp and see if we can't catch us up some fish. What are you up to there, buddy? Looks like you're eating corn on the cab. All right, peace out, bro, ambulance.
Well, did about four miles, just about uh, under two hours, 1,200 feet of elevation gain, and we made it. This lake is crazy beautiful and quite a bit bigger than I thought it would be. Um, that hike took me a little longer than I thought it would. Uh, I got really distracted looking for edible mushrooms. I thought I might find some matsutakis and chanterelles along the way, but check out what I found. It's a little bruised up now because I carried it for like a mile, but it was pure white. Have you guys ever heard of a white chanterelle? Because this thing has all the indications of being a chanterelle mushroom. Uh, the forest where it was growing was right. It has the... Uh, false gills there that run down onto the stem. Um, it looks like a chanterelle as far as the shape and texture. It even has the sort of uh, string cheese. Uh, you know, when you peel a chanterelle stem up, it's like string cheese, which this has. I'm like 90% sure this is a chanterelle. And I really, really want to eat it, but I've never seen a white chanterelle. And since I'm really, really far out in the woods, totally alone, um, I also don't want to spend the next, like, 24 hours vomiting my guts out and then die alone out here in the woods. So I'm not going to eat it, even though I really, really want to. I found a bunch of them. Anyway, if anyone's a mycologist or a scientist or just knows about white chanterelles let me know i'd be really interested to find out because uh i will eat them in the future all right first cast number two number three number four Does it help if you yell out what you're doing every time you cast? I think, I'm pretty sure fish love yelling. I've heard that, I read that in a Reader's Digest. Five, six, seven, eight Z's, nine, ten. Why God? Why? Why? <laughs> I have been fishing for um, a little over three hours now. Not a bite, not a follower, not a fish. I, I feel like I just can't, I don't, I don't even know. I don't even know. This summer has been just really tough as far as um, finding these backcountry mountain trout. I, I'm feeling a little bit defeated. Like I said, the shoreline here is like super, super uh, swampy and brushy and to get anywhere would take hours. It's very, um, it's quite steep and there's a lot of blowdown and stuff. Uh, it's just not something I have time to do today. So this spot that I'm at is the only uh, bank or lake access, you know, that's, uh, well, you know, normally accessible without going bushwhacking. Um, so I'm assuming everyone who comes here to fish, fishes right here. Or well, I guess what I'd have to do is come back another time and just stay here with a float. Because if I could get around to some of these spots, I think there'd be some okay fishing. Just feeling kind of defeated. Not only that, but uh, the, it was supposed to be sunny and beautiful today. And it has just been overcast and cold. Uh, so I'm going to go set up my camp. Um, just hang out for a little bit and I guess if uh I don't know I'm gonna keep fishing after that and then if if uh you know the, I'm not gonna film myself just fishing so uh if you guys don't see me catching a fish I'll see you back in the tent in a little bit for dinner well you guys just kind of laying in my tent here after dinner uh sulking a little bit totally got skunked today I thought that lake was gonna be awesome but uh Maybe it isn't. I think I need to try a different tactic. Um, someday maybe I'll get one of those like pack rafts. But anyway, I'm going to lay here for a while and uh, listen to my podcast, Drift Off to Sleep. 
when I wake up tomorrow, we got a long day. So uh, we're going to get out to that main lake where I fished dozens and hundreds of times and there's always fish. Uh, it's great fishing out there. So uh, the luck is going to turn around. I'm super psyched for tomorrow. So I think what I'm going to do is make this, um, so this is going to be a six day adventure. So I think I'm going to maybe do six episodes. We'll kind of see how it goes, but that's going to do it for episode one. Sorry that, uh, sorry it was just me hiking to a lake and then sucking at fishing. But anyway, thanks for watching you guys. I'll put links in the description down below to, uh, all the other episodes as they come out. Uh, if you want to go check those out. So thanks for watching you guys. Good night. We'll see you tomorrow and in the next episode.